so Zach, just give us a, a quick synopsis on the spring. How's it going for you? Different than past spring? Uh, yeah, it's going well so far. Um, it's a little different, of course. Uh, we're putting in, or we have a new offensive coordinator, but it doesn't change too much up front for us. Um, we have the same core group of guys uh, up front, and I feel like we're all meshing really well together right now. The challenge, I guess, Neil kind of issued to you guys was, at least from what we were, he's been telling us, is that you ran the ball well against the teams you were supposed to, but the, the better defenses, uh, that's the next step for you. How do you get better at, at doing that? Absolutely. Um, you just have to work on the little things. Uh, O-line play, it's just a matter of, you know, taking the right first step, having your eyes in the right place. It's just really little things that, we're probably keeping us away from being able to run on those teams. So um, I would say just focusing on the little things will help us um, take that next step and, you know, just being on the same page. And you're now one of the guys. Do you embrace that role? Are you speaking up more? Are you being more of, of, of a guy for them? Absolutely. Um, I, I try to help out everyone, you know, as much as I can and just try to, you know, be as positive and, you know, uplift my teammates as much as I can. So. Is that hard for you? Because you don't seem like a real vocal guy, at least to us. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not. Like, I'm not going to, like, uh, I'm not going to go, like, yell anything in front of the team. But, like, I'll pull someone off to the side and talk to them and uh, just check on them like that. It's not a big speech guy in the locker room. No, I don't give speeches. <laughs> no, no, not at all. Uh, all five linemen return, starting linemen. So how is that different? Well, you know, just knowing the guys beside you, how does that help? Yeah, I mean, we've uh, – we had all last season together. So um, really it's just communication. Uh, we, we'll see a front or whatever, and uh, we'll just kind of know. Like we'll be on the same page without even speaking sometimes. So it's just little things like that, um, just the chemistry between us. <clears throat> the Baylor game last year was a turning point for your offensive line. That was the one you guys really struggled in. Yeah. Yeah, that, I mean, we definitely struggled in that game. Um, that's definitely uh, – that, that's kind of fuel, you know, for us um, for this coming year um, because that, that wasn't our standard that we put out there. So, um, yeah, we definitely turn on that film and try to learn from it. What did you learn – about yourselves and what did you learn about as an offensive line from that game? What did you take from it? Um, yeah, the, okay, so the Baylor game, uh, we just we just weren't all on the same page at, at times. And um, really, I mean, if you're not on the same page, all five have to be working together as a unit. So that's just the main thing that, you know, got us that game. We had – uh, a couple, a couple of MAs here and there, and you can't have any of those. So, yeah. just gotta clean it up across the board. Yeah. Obviously, not next to you, but what have you seen at right tackle? You know, how are those guys kind of adjusting and playing? Yeah. Um, so Yates and uh, Yates moved to right tackle, along with uh, Hubbard, and they both been playing hard. Um, Hubbard uh, has been playing with really great effort. Um, and I, I, I've liked what I've seen from both of them. So they, they've been, really been working hard. Do you feel like you guys have more quality depth than, you, than you've had the last couple of years? Yeah, for sure. And, and, and even on the inside, um, Jordan White uh, can play, you know, both guards and center. So uh, even on the inside, we have good depth there too. Um, yeah, I feel, I feel like we're de we definitely have more depth than we have before. Your feeling when you heard uh, your new offensive coordinator say, "Want to score every time?" And, you know, talk about an open, exciting, exciting offense that that, that really was going, was going to try to put points on the board. Yeah. Uh, what, what did that do for you as an offensive line? Yeah, I mean that got me fired up. Um, you know, when I heard that, I was excited. Uh, you know, because at the end of the day, that's what you want to do is put points on the board. So when I heard that, you know, it fired me up and. Uh, Really got me, really got me excited, and uh, makes me want to play harder. So, how important is that attitude-wise, as far as, I mean, if, if that got you excited, obviously, 
that attitude wasn't there last year, I mean, you know, for whatever reason. You don't want it to be, but it wasn't, apparently. Uh, how important is it that it's, that it's back or, or whatever? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's probably... Uh, it's probably just a different approach. It's like we're going to score. It's kind of like his his thing is uh, we're going to put points on the board and have fun. So I, I think it's just a, a fun approach to it, and that's just how football should be. At the end of the day, football should be fun. So. Have you had fun so far? Yes, sir. Does the scheme change things for the offensive line? Do you guys do things differently with this new not, scheme? Not really. I, I mean, a few things here and there, but uh, like run game stuff is – Pretty much, pretty much the same. Uh, like a couple of wrinkles here and there, uh, different words, like different language we had to learn. But not, it doesn't change too much for us. It changes more for the skill guys. Zach, what does expansion mean for the offensive line? Expansion? Yeah. Uh, like in the run game? Yeah. So um, expansion is just getting movement, like moving your defender forward, uh, moving, uh, displacing the defender so that uh, there's a crease or a hole that the running back can run through. Yes, sir. Yeah. How do you achieve that? I'm sure you want to move guys, but they right. don't want to be moved, right? Uh, just perfect technique, uh, having your hands inside and running your feet. I would say probably running your feet is the biggest uh, way to get expansion. So it's just another word for movement? Yeah, yeah. So it's just yeah, the, this, this, this the fad term of the t time now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Guys here or there that you can't move, that you got to kind of scheme around because somebody's just so good, so big, so strong, that you got to work them in a different way. Are Are you asking for our own team or for? No, no, on a on an opposing defensive line when you know you've played. Oh, them. okay. Is there a guy or two that you just can't move, so you got to? scheme around that guy somewhat no i don't think so i, th I think it's more uh i mean maybe there's certain matchups that are better than others and uh in, in my case most of the time i'm always working a double team so um if we work our technique right uh either i'm hitting the defender's hip or the guard's hitting the hip. So really, we're just working together. I don't. I wouldn't say there's anyone that we can't really move unless we don't take the right technique, don't you know, take the right steps and stuff like that. The biggest key for executing that and finishing that when you, when somebody peels off that double team to go to the second level or something, is it the timing of it? You know, you two getting your initial hit, your double team getting that first move. And then know, knowing exactly when to get off and go to your second block. Yeah, well, the, the most important thing um, on a double team is blocking the first defender, um, because if you don't, obviously, if you don't block him, it doesn't matter if the other guy blocks the linebacker. So uh, even e even some plays will both stay on the down lineman, and it'll turn into a good play because we got you know we took care of the first level first. You know, not not always you can get up to the linebacker. But when you can, that's, you know, when big runs happen. Is that the, the goal then is to get to that point where you can get to that second level and yeah, consistently? Yeah, that's, that's always the goal. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Are you closer as a group to getting to that point? Yeah, oh, we, we get there a lot. I mean, there's there's a few times where, um, you know, the defense will run stunts or and pick us essentially so we can't get up. But, yeah, most of the time we get to the second level. I mentioned you said the first – practice that you had, you guys blocked outside zone really well. He was really surprised by that. Um, is that is that just just from being experienced or, or what, do you, what do you attribute that to? Yeah, I mean, like I would say last year we ran, our main, our main run was inside zone. We were good at inside zone. Stretch really wasn't our, our strong suit. So I'll, I'll just credit that to um, the off season and Coach Moore and all, all them. And we really focused on it and uh, yeah, it's, it's, again, technique. Just a lot of people are more comfortable and really understand. We're older now, so it's just a lot easier. What are the challenges of playing as a true freshman offensive lineman? And did you talk to Wyatt a lot about the experiences you had the year before in doing that? Yeah, I mean, uh, when you come in um, and you play as a freshman, it's definitely tough at first. There's a learning curve. Um, Everything's happening so fast, and uh, 
really until the game slows down, that's that's when, you know, that's when you feel like you settle in. And Wyatt did a great job last year. He played really well. I mean, consistently throughout the year. So, um, yeah, and we we had conversations. So. Slow down for you. Do you remember a specific instance, or was it just over time? Yeah, over time, probably some point in my freshman year. Uh, like fall camp, it was fast. It was fast. I didn't see everything. I couldn't see the whole picture at once. And uh, I don't know. Just the more reps you take, it just kind of all of a sudden you start to see it and settle in. So. Along, along those lines, what, uh, when did you? Was the transition tougher or easier than you thought it would be? Sometimes you think these guys are, that I'm going to go coming out of high school, uh, these guys are bigger, stronger than, than I've ever seen. Uh, you don't know if you can do it or not. Uh, was it easier or tougher than you thought? And when did you know that, that you were there? Yeah, I mean, I didn't really know what to expect coming in. Uh, because, like, like you said, I didn't know if they were going to be just that much bigger, that much stronger than me. Um, you know, but I just kept working. And I think the point where in, when I knew that I would be all right is, like, probably some point in fall camp when I was going up against these guys. And, you know, I wasn't just getting blown up. I was, you know, competing with them. And, uh, yeah, I, was, I think when I was able – when I started to be able to compete with the guys and – I knew I'd be just fine. So, you miss wrestling, Andy? I think about it sometimes, but you know, football has always been my first love. So, but yeah, I mean, especially when the NCAA tournament came on a couple of weeks ago, it got me excited. But yeah, I miss it sometimes. Could you get down to 285 now? Oh, I could. <laughs> but it would probably probably hurt me a little bit for football. I have to lose about no. 20 pounds. <laughs> was mentioned that there's no freshman on the O-line this year. Does that change the outlook for you guys? I mean, is there a lot more put on you now since you say, okay, well, we don't have a true freshman here? Because it's been that way really since Neil's been here. Yeah, well, uh, so I came I came in in June. I think White, White came in in June too. So I, I think there are guys coming in. There's guys coming in, uh, but right, yeah, right now we don't have any. A true freshman is playing on the O line this year. Something's gone wrong. Yeah, I mean we should we should. I mean right. I've, I, you never know so, what's going to happen. Injury, anything. I mean but, anything could ever happen. But, but the expectation is the bar has got to be raised a lot. Higher, oh, for right? sure, for sure. Is that how you guys view it? Yeah, like as far as like people coming in or well, just your performance. That you know, hey, we we've got a group now that that should be able to go out and dominate the line of scrimmage and and do the things that, you know, you need to do to move the ball and score touchdowns. Right. I, yeah, I would say everyone, you know, up front's confident in just how they play and they're not really, like, worried about um, anyone else. or We're just worried about ourselves, making ourselves better and just take, trying to take that next step, like you said. And are you guys, as a group, willing to be the ones that set the tone for the offense and the team? For sure. That's, that's – uh, that's the biggest part I would say about playing offensive line is you have to set set the tone. And you set the tone by running the ball. You run the ball, you win games. So. I hate to bring up bad moments, but um, is it hard to put a bad moment behind you? I'm thinking especially at, at Oklahoma. So how, how long is it, does that linger in your mind? And is that something an athlete just has to adjust to? Yeah, I mean – Bad plays are going to happen. Um, I think in the moment, normally when bad plays happen, I'm pretty good at forgetting it until I get into the locker room, until I get on the bus. And then, yeah, I mean, it, it stings for a while. It burns. Um, but uh, you just have to keep moving on, correct them, and keep moving forward. So. Right. They were kind of chirping. It was kind of a learning moment for you too, wasn't it? Because they were kind of calling out the yeah. cadence a little bit yeah, and said, okay, um, okay, this is how it's going to be, yeah? Yeah. That kind uh, of thing. Are, you're talking about the Oklahoma player? Right. Yeah. The, yeah. 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 Yep. So that's one where you're like, okay, they got me. Well, they're not going to get me again, right? Right. Right. Your thoughts on uh, Lee, a little linebacker, you've seen enough of him now, I imagine, to, to know what he's like. Yeah, I, I love how he plays. He plays hard nose, uh, 
with great energy. Um, I, I, I really like him. He's going to be solid for us this year. What about that second level? You know, you see you get to the second level. What about the second level of that defense? I mean, just from the outside, it looks like they're leaner, yeah. taller, harder to maybe the safeties are a little interchangeable. Are they harder to identify? Do you see some things there that they can take advantage of offenses with the way they do things? Yeah, I mean, I think I think that I think we have a very fast defense. Um, they play with a lot of speed, um, and that's the biggest thing I've seen from them is they're pretty fast this year. So hard to con do they when the safeties are about the same size? Uh, does they get a little confusing? Who's who? Where are they? And all of that thing? Can they do some of that maybe to people? Uh, yeah, like like as far as like. What do, what do you mean by that? Uh, interchangeable players they've got. You know, those safeties that they've got, they're basically about the same size. You know, if they wore, like, numbers close to each other, <laughs> right. like, those types of things that get people a little confused. Okay, where are they supposed to be? That type of thing a little bit? Yeah, I mean, I, I think now, because um, I've been here for a, a couple of years now, I can kind of tell, like, how our defense right. lines up and who's who. Um, but, yeah, the, but there is – there's there's some big uh, big guys back there in the uh, secondary, so but yeah, they definitely could you know trick some other people. Yep. Thank you.